Hey you guys and welcome or welcome back to my channel. My name is Leanna and I'm back with another video. So today's video is going to be dedicated to some of the cherry fragrances in my collection. This video was inspired by one of the latest drops from Bath & Body Works which is Sweetheart Cherry. I bought this scent recently from Bath & Body Works and I feel like this is the perfect time to drop a video like this especially with Valentine's Day coming around the corner. Also you guys this video will be composed of body mist and perfume so I have the best of both worlds. I'll go ahead and show you guys the body mist first and then I'll show the perfumes that I have at the end. So the first fragrance that I will be sharing with you guys today is of course Sweetheart Cherry. This is the fragrance that sparked this whole video so of course it had to be first. This is the packaging you all. I like the packaging but I do like things that are like super girly so I feel like it's the perfect type of packaging for Valentine's Day so I'm pleased with the packaging. It's like super super cute. And you guys the notes in this fragrance are Wild Cherry, crushed pistachio and whipped vanilla. I feel like pistachio is a note that's pretty hip right now. It's not honestly, y'all, it's honestly not one of my favorite fragrances, although I do like it. However, it's a fragrance that I tend to only wear sometimes. I have to be in the mood to wear pistachio because I feel like pistachio doesn't have the same scent as like a lot of other nuts. If you've never smelled it before, it may be something that is not what you would have imagined. It's more of a fresher, aromatic type of nut. So sometimes I like it, sometimes I don't. Almond, pistachios, they're not really my favorite, but in this fragrance, I do think it works well. Again, it's something that I have to be in the mood for. I have to absolutely be in the mood for pistachio. Today, I wasn't in the mood for it, so it is not my scent of the day. But I did wear it yesterday, and I will show you guys what I paired it with. But let's go ahead and get into this fragrance, you guys. Now, I do feel like this fragrance is like the perfect mixture of cherry and pistachio. You definitely get both. And then there's vanilla in here as well, but I feel like vanilla is kind of sitting back there in the background. And I do think that the vanilla here helps with the smell and also the longevity. I've seen a lot of people state that this fragrance does not last long. I beg to differ. I actually wore it the first night that I got it and I put it on after I took my shower. I went to sleep and I woke up. It was like nine hours later and I still smelled this fragrance on me. So I definitely feel like it lasts a while. Perhaps people either got nose blind to it or other scents might have like clouded out this fragrance. I don't know. But I definitely smell this fragrance nine hours later. Don't be fooled by the packaging of this scent. This is not a juvenile scent. I don't even feel like it's something that really young people would like. I feel like it's more so for people who are probably like in their 20s and up. That's just my take on it. I don't feel like um, a younger person would like this fragrance too much. It's more so of a mature type of cherry. It is a bright cherry, but it's not really a fun cherry in my opinion. I do think of this as a more upscale body mist and I feel like this would work perfectly for the fall and winter. And bonus points, you guys, it also layers well. I feel like this fragrance would layer well with so many fragrances, including all of your cherry fragrances. I go through fragrances like I don't know but like literally I can't wear the same fragrance for days on end like you might get two days in a row of the same fragrance but after that I have to move on to the next thing. <laughs> so my fragrance of the night is actually Pure Seduction Golden and that's all that I have on. I have like an unscented lotion and this fragrance I was just feeling like I wanted to smell like sweet and creamy so that's what I wore tonight. But let me tell you guys about my fragrance of the day from yesterday because it was bomb y'all. It was bomb and I knew exactly what I wanted to pair this body mist with when I tried it on. I was like I'm gonna try this out because I'm like this is very similar and then I wanted to add this in but let me show y'all. <laughs> let me show y'all okay. So bam. Okay first of all I paired this with Kayali Yum Pistachio Gelato 33 I think. Yeah 33. And I really like this fragrance. I know a lot of people don't. I actually want a full bottle of this but there have been other fragrances that I've wanted more so I haven't gotten it yet but I absolutely love this fragrance and it's probably close to time for me to get a, a full bottle of it but it is so pretty to me it's like sweet clean soapy and then you get that pistachio which is in here it's more given more airy than nutty but it definitely smells like pistachio to me. I've seen people say that it doesn't smell like pistachio but I think that some people again don't really understand that pistachio is not really 
a normal nut fragrance. I definitely get pistachio vibes from it. So I sprayed my Sweetheart Cherry all over my body after I put my lotion on. And for my lotion, I just use this Lubriderm. Nothing special, okay? And then I put the Sweetheart Cherry on my body. Then I put my clothes on and then I put this on because it's a body mist, so I can do that, okay? I do overspray body mist sometimes. And then after that, I put on the pistachio, the Yum Pistachio Gelato. Up here and down here. Two sprays of it. That's all you need. Like literally this stuff is kind of strong and people will smell it and you will get like compliments on it if people like it. And a lot of people tend to like that fragrance. I think because it's very sweet. To me, this is a very sweet fragrance. Very sweet. It's akin to like, um, what is it? Clean skin? Yeah, it's akin to that fragrance. It smells very, very similar, except it's not. <laughs> but anywho, then, okay, because I wasn't done layering, you guys. Then I added on the next fragrance in my list. And I know at first I said I was going to do all body mist first and then the perfumes. But since this was my layering combination of yesterday, I'm going to go ahead and show you guys this perfume. And I think that you guys will be surprised by this perfume and my review of it. So what I layered on top of this was Decadent Queen by Juicy Couture. And this is the purple bottle. I don't know what this is. I didn't actually, I've tried this one the one time when I first got these and I didn't really like this one. So I immediately stacked this one at the top. I don't, not that I didn't like this one, but I feel like it's generic. It's nothing special to me, but I smelled this one and I was like, this is special. And I put it right up top because I love it. And I feel like this may be one of Juicy Couture's like best fragrances to me. This is just a really nice fragrance in general. And I know, again, it probably looks really juvenile, but again, it's not. And I love, love, love these. I think these are super cute. And again, very girly, like love them. And that's why I stacked them together. I think they're really cute stacked instead of being apart. This it's giving cheap vibes when they're apart, but when they're together, it's just like super, super, super duper cute. But that is beside the point. Let's get into the fragrance of this. This is a cherry fragrance, you guys, but it's not a bright cherry fragrance. The notes in this fragrance are cherry, white cyclamen, pink pepper, plum, honeysuckle, pink peony, vanilla bean, amber, and woodsy notes. And what I get most extremely from this fragrance is the cherry, I get the woody notes and then I also get the plum and vanilla from this fragrance. And it's just like super pretty. And I also get the pink pepper as well. It does have a bit of like, you know, a little bit of spiciness to it from the pink pepper, but it's nothing that is overwhelming, but I can smell it. You probably will be able to as well. So I definitely want to let you guys know just in case you are not a fan of pink pepper. It's not strong or anything, but I definitely smell it. Now this is a soft yet warm fragrance. It has honeysuckle in it and I don't usually like honeysuckle, but in this fragrance, I feel like it actually works. When you mix the honeysuckle here with the amber, I feel like it gives it more of like a honey like type of scent. So you get like cherry and honey and vanilla and woody notes and it's like, soft subtle sweet and it's very very beautiful you all it is a warm floral and there is not orange blossom in this fragrance but something about this fragrance makes it seem like there's a orange blossom note and that's just because when you smell it it kind of has a grapey smell and you know that orange blossom usually gives all that off that grapey smell but i definitely think it's the honeysuckle the honeysuckle in this is very strong i don't know if i said like honeysuckle was definitely prevalent um in this fragrance but it is another note that you can smell very well like there's a lot of notes in this fragrance not a lot but there's a lot of fragrances there's a lot of notes in this fragrance that you can actually smell like when i smell this i get the honeysuckle i get the cherry I get plum from this, I get vanilla, I get the pink pepper, I get the woody notes. I can smell all of these things strongly. And they are all mixed well. You would think that they maybe wouldn't mix that well, but they mix very well. This is a beautiful fragrance and a fragrance that I wouldn't imagine that Juicy Couture would create. I'm not really the biggest fan of like a lot of Juicy Couture fragrances, but that is, that's neither here nor there. And let's move on. So basically I do feel like this is a very sexy, smooth type of fragrance and I feel like you can wear this all year round if you're wearing it at night. If you want to wear it during the day, I feel like it's great for the fall and winter. And the only bad thing I feel like I can say about this fragrance because I feel like this fragrance is like literally 
gonna give this like an eight or nine out of ten it's just a beautiful fragrance to me especially for the price point my only thing with this fragrance is that I just feel like I don't understand why they made them like this now I don't know if there's a bigger size but I don't think that there is I've only ever seen them like this these are from the Wii collection I do believe and that is just upsetting but they're stackable so that's cute but that's like my only gripe with it that they just have this small little travel size type bottle well it's not even a travel size it's just a small bottle <laughs> uh, but outside of that I love this fragrance I think it's amazing I think it's absolutely beautiful and I think that if you can get your nose on this fragrance if you like a smooth type of cherry then definitely try to get your nose on this is unique this is definitely giving sexy and grown up the cherry here is not overwhelming I will say I'm making a whole cherry video right but I'm not the biggest fan of cherry I'm not the biggest fan of cherry cherry is a like it's it's a strange fragrance to me sometimes I like it but I like it more when it's done in this manner okay you guys so let's go ahead and get into another body mist and this one is firecracker pop the juice in here might be a little bit juvenile I won't call it juvenile more so nostalgic than anything this fragrance actually smells just like this little pop right here I don't remember what they call whatever they're called this is what this fragrance like actually smells like and it is so crazy how they made this fragrance smell just like this thing on ice pop the only thing I feel like might be a little bit different is just that this fragrance has a little bit more citrus than these pops would have but my goodness this smells just like these stinking things it smells just like them the notes in here are red cherry fresh citrus and juicy berry it kind of smells like a slushy it smells very juicy it smells like something that you would want to drink it also has like this cold factor like they added in a note of ice or something like that so i don't know how they did it but they did a really good job with this fragrance and it might be a little bit juvenile to some but I absolutely love it and I think it's nostalgic I love to wear this to bed I don't generally wear it outside the house I don't feel like it's a long lasting fragrance but I do like it and I find it to be a fun fragrance so I keep it around because I like it the cherry in here is definitely a bright cherry this is a youthful scent but i do feel like it's a fun scent to wear during the spring and summer so the next fragrance that i want to show you guys is one that i actually used to love but now i'm not a fan of it <laughs> i don't know what it is i really do need to start getting rid of my old fragrances but i keep them around for some odd reason i have to start like decluttering but i just do not like this fragrance anymore and i used to love it this is black cherry merlot again you guys the notes in this are dark cherry black raspberry and sumptuous merlot i don't know what it is about this fragrance i think it may be like a wine note i think that maybe i don't like the merlot note here this fragrance to me smells cheap and it's not that i don't like it or that i find that it does not smell good it's just the fact that it smells cheap it smells like a very synthetic type of cherry and it is very off-putting it kind of smells like shampooy in a sense and then it also kind of reminds me of like winter candy apple for some reason but make it cherry instead of apple i'm not a fan of it i used to love it you guys and i know like why am i showing y'all stuff that i don't even like but i'm just showing y'all <laughs> some of the cherry fragrances that are in my collection and with my reviews kind of take them with a grain of salt because again i'm not the biggest cherry fan but i do have some cherry fragrances that i like this one i don't like just because i feel like it is it just smells cheap to me and if anyone is thinking about maybe giving this fragrance, I would just like to let you know what my review of it is. If you're, you know, researching cherry fragrances, this is not one that I would purchase. <laughs> it just doesn't stand when put in comparison with these newer cherry fragrances. So it was good for the time that it came out, you know what I'm saying? But it's, it's not really giving it anymore. But let's go ahead and move on, you guys. So the last cherry body mist that I have to show you all is Cherry Elixir number 33. The notes in this fragrance are Black Cherry, Liquid Amber, and Quiet Mystery. I, I don't know what the Quiet Mystery is about. But I love this collection when it came out because I just felt like these bottles that were a part of this collection i think there were maybe three or four it probably was four victoria's secret always bring out stuff in like sets of four but yeah i felt like these bottles were just like super upscale to me and i still feel the same way i think this is a very nice bottle i love it it's pretty sleek 
Uh, I would have preferred that it had been all black actually, but I am mad at the little bit of red down there. Now, I will say that I think that I saved my favorite body mist for last. Like, this is my favorite cherry body mist. I think that it smells amazing. It is quite similar to Sweetheart Cherry, but without the pistachio note. And it's a lot calmer, a lot softer. This fragrance is very intimate. You're not gonna smell it across the room. It does not project well, but it is just like a nice, beautiful skin scent just for your own little scent bubble. And I just love it. It's a soft, sexy fragrance. I feel like this one is definitely more so for the fall and winter. It's a bit dark, but it's also a bit sweet. And I feel like the amber lends a bit of sweetness to this. And I just really, really love that i like amber a lot an overdose of amber not so much but amber in general i really like i feel like this fragrance is perfect for like a night in just because of how close it sits to the skin and how intimate it is and i do feel like it's sexy so if you know you're meeting up with your boo or something like that i feel like this is a nice fragrance to wear if you guys are just chilling i feel like it's sexy and they'll smell it when they get up close to you this fragrance kind of smells like root beer to me in a sense and i think that's from the amber as well so i do like that i love the way that root beer smells like that is one of the best smelling drinks that there is root beer like it doesn't get any better <laughs> Now, I also don't feel like this fragrance smells too much like a body mist to me. And I do feel like a lot of people probably won't like this fragrance just because it is so soft. But if you're a person that likes soft fragrances and you like cherry, but like not too bright of a cherry, if you enjoy a more subtle cherry, then you should definitely check this fragrance out. It's so soft and so sexy. And I almost wore this fragrance tonight, but I wanted to smell like super duper sweet, like obnoxiously sweet. So I wore that um, Pure Seduction Golden. It's not a fragrance profile that I often go for. So when I really feel like wearing that type of fragrance, I do it. I get it in <laughs> so I can, you know, feel fulfilled. But yeah, it's just a soft, sexy, somewhat sweet, subtle cherry fragrance. And I really, really like it. But that's it for the body mist, you guys. Let's go ahead and move on to my cherry perfume. So you guys, first I'm going to go ahead and show you guys this fragrance, which is a cherry fragrance. This is very good girl glam. This is a very cute shoe right it's so cute and it's glittery so i really wanted to get this fragrance however i discovered that i'm not the biggest fan of this one but if you like a sour cherry you will probably like this fragrance now that's the one thing i don't like about cherries in my opinion most cherries smell sour and that is why i don't like it i don't really care for sour notes like that so when people can create a cherry fragrance that is not too sour not too tart I love it. That's why I like those other fragrances more because they were not tart. The tartest one I think was the Black Cherry Merlot and that's probably why I didn't like it. The Cherry and Firecracker Pop is also somewhat tart but it works in that sense. In that instance it works. I don't know why it is but I like that one but most really tart cherries I don't like. This fragrance has a super sour cherry and it makes sense because let me read you guys the notes okay. So the notes in this fragrance are sour cherry bitter almond, rose, lily, bourbon vanilla, and vetiver. So this is your super sour cherry. And the cherry note here is also quite sharp, you all. And I think that that is one thing about it. Like, it's one thing that is sour, but it's like super sharp and in your face as well. So basically what you get from this is like a sour floral fragrance. That's not my scent profile at all. But if you like a sour cherry mixed with rose, then you will probably like this one. It is a very unique fragrance. I will give it that. So also if you're a person who likes, you know, interesting fragrances that are not like any others, this is one that you would probably want to check out if you like a sour cherry note. And then also what I noticed when I smell this fragrance is I noticed that there is a bit of spiciness and I'm pretty sure that's coming from the vetiver in this fragrance. And I also think that the vetiver is just something that I don't like about this fragrance. But if you like those things, you would probably enjoy this fragrance and you could look into it. But I did want to mention it just because I know that there are a lot of people who probably find this fragrance beautiful. I just don't just because... I'm not the biggest lover of sour cherries, but in all, just to be fair, I want to make sure that I include different aspects of sour fragrances that I have in my collection. 
So that is one option for people who like a really sour cherry note mixed with some rose and vetera. But let's move on you guys. Okay, so next I'm gonna show you guys another fragrance that I really like and that is Guest Seductive Red. I have liked this fragrance ever since I got it. This is your fragrance that is similar to Baccarat Rouge 540 and Ariana Grande's Cloud. It's like those fragrances, but make it cherry, okay? So that is what's special about this fragrance. So I really do like that they made they did something different with the fragrance profile. I know that a lot of people might find this type of fragrance profile redundant or a juvenile just because it's been done so much and because like so many different types of people are wearing those types of fragrances now. But I like it. I like it a lot. I feel like it's still a nice sexy smooth fragrance that you can wear year round. Now one big difference from Cloud and Baccarat is that this fragrance is not like super sweet. This is not a super sweet cherry. Again it's a smooth cherry. It's still like Baccarat and Cloud but just add some cherry on top. So if you like that fragrance profile but you want it a little bit more fruitier this will be a good option for you. And the best part about this fragrance is that it is affordable. I got my fragrance from Ross so definitely take a look at Ross, TJ Maxx, Marshalls, places like that and you'll probably find it. Like every time I go into Ross I'm pretty sure I find this one or the regular Seductive Nor. They're like literally always there. <laughs> I don't know like what type of contract they made with guests but like they always have guest stuff in general there. So if you're looking for this fragrance try out a Ross first and you might find it there. I don't care how many times it's been done. I still wear Baccarat, I still wear Cloud and I still wear this fragrance and I think that they're all beautiful. It just depends on what day it is and what I want to wear. I don't follow trends. I just like what I like. And in general, I like a whole lot of different things. And I'm an odd person because sometimes there are fragrances that I don't even like, yet I still wear them sometimes. Some days I still crave those fragrances. That's just how I am. I don't know if it's some type of like scent memory connected to those fragrances or what, but every day I want a different fragrance. Like I said in the beginning of the video, like after two days of the same fragrance, I'm ready to move on to the next thing. I cannot commit to a fragrance. My last fragrance that I have to show you guys is Kayali Love Fest Burn Cherry 48. I don't have um, Tom Ford's Lost Cherry and I have not smelled it in a while. However, when I smelled them previously, I felt like they were, I felt like they were pretty similar. I feel like to the average everyday nose, these fragrances just smell very similar. But I think that one thing that I remember is just that with this fragrance, the cherry note does not last very long. The cherry note here is a smokier type of cherry. I feel like it lasts throughout the fragrance, but it's not as prevalent as it is in like the top note or when you initially spray it. But I love the woody notes in this fragrance and also I'm sorry I didn't go over the notes. This fragrance has a lot of notes so the notes will actually just be on the screen for you guys over here. I definitely know that there's cherry in this fragrance. There's Palo Santo, there's Gaiac Wood and I definitely love more than anything the Gaiac Wood and the Palo Santo in these fragrance. I love the cherry too but I love the woody notes in this fragrance. Like I feel like that is what, and I don't even just feel like, I know that that is what makes this fragrance so special, so beautiful, so calming to wear. The cherry in this fragrance is smoky. The gaiac wood is what makes the cherry fragrance smoky. It's giving both smoky and leathery vibes. The leather is quite light, but I smell it. I smell it. I smell it. Um, so that's why I think it's coming from the gaiac wood and I don't like leather in my fragrances but here it works out just fine and I do feel like Palo Santo and Guy Wood are the stars of this fragrance I feel like you get cherry in the fragrance throughout but it's more smoky than anything you get that smokiness of the cherry throughout the fragrance and even though the fragrance is smoky it's still smooth to me it's still very pretty it smell, it's still quite feminine as well to me. I feel like this is the perfect fragrance for fall and winter. I have not worn this fragrance outside of fall and winter. Like I've only worn it in the fall and winter and I've only given it like a couple of spritz each time. Now one more thing that I will say that I noted about this fragrance is just that it is a bit similar to Good Girl Glam in that the cherry here it's also it's smoky right but it's also somewhat sour not sour but more so tart 
I don't know if it's just that the cherry is actually sour here or if it's the raspberry because there's also a raspberry note in this fragrance. It's not like super sour or anything like Good Girl Glam is. This is definitely something that I can bear more and I think that's just because of the woodiness of this fragrance. The dry down of this fragrance is mostly woody notes. The Palo Santo, the guy wood in this fragrance they're beautiful they're calm they're smooth and i really like it i like this fragrance a lot of all like my cherry fragrances decadent queen and cherry elixir number 33 these are my favorites and these are both like the softest cherries that i have this is like the softest cherry body mist and this is like the softest cherry perfume so i think that when like a cherry fragrance is soft I like it more if you guys can smell these definitely try to because to me they smell so good but yeah that is the end of the video you guys i hope that you all enjoyed it and i hope that you all stick around to watch more there should be something here and something here and until next time you guys bye